Good afternoon. My name is Jane Melhance from Pierce County. I'm speaking in opposition to both 1143 and 1144. I'm here today before you as a survivor of a home invasion. And it took law enforcement over 15 terrifying minutes to get to my house. No woman should be, should be um, inhibited from being able to protect herself. Can you women fight two men with your hands? Because of my situation, I became a certified firearm instructor, and every year I volunteer hundreds of hours teaching women. I don't get paid for it. As a firearm instructor, I'm all for safety training, but I'm against the state mandating this for several reasons. On average, you asked, the firearm cor courses cost in the Puget Sound between $100 and $150 per hour. For some, that's a challenge to pay for, especially my students, which are widows between the ages 60 and 90 years old, and single mothers. My students pay $40 for a two full day class, and my wait list extends beyond a year to, for them to get in. Should women be denied the right to protect themselves because they can't afford to get into a gun class? No. And also, the pre-purchasing license not only violates her right to protect herself in a timely manner, it also violates the Firearm Owners Protection Act of 1986, 18 U.S.C. Section 926, which regulates firearm registrations by state. And I'll give you guys the, right, the wording about that. So this bill creates a gun registry. You know, a year ago or so, the Department of Licensing gave out all my personal information to hackers. So women are feeling violated. They don't want people to know they own firearms because they don't want to be victims to crime. This bill puts them at risk of uh, becoming crime victims. So I wanted to say that no criminal has ever taken my class and I have never seen a criminal take a firearm class. They buy their guns from black market, gun theft, drug deals. And so this, this bill only hurts law-abiding citizens. So I ask you on behalf of the women to, to vote no on both of these bills. Thank you.